Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this evening, we're going to be doing another walkthrough service here on a reel that belongs to my buddy Dan. So this is the Shimano Torium 16HG. Nice, uh, compact, high-speed gear ratio reel. This is 6.2 to 1 uh, gear ratio. So it's high-speed, really, really nice, smooth reel. It's in beautiful condition, as you can see. Um, but uh, I mentioned walkthrough. I've actually already serviced uh, the reel. Uh, but I'm actually going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do two separate videos. I'm going to do a walkthrough disassembly and a walkthrough reassembly video on this one. Uh, just so we can take our time and just kind of go through all the steps of the take apart and some of the cleaning and lube points that are involved, things like that. So we're going to start with taking off our handle pieces here as usual. But this is a really nice reel. I think he says he uses this for lingcod or rock cod fishing offshore. It's a relatively lightweight reel. Got a lot of nice clean aluminum parts on here. You know, Shimano is a staple in the industry for just making, you know, good quality reels just all around. And note there's a washer here on top you don't want to lose that okay and then we've got a series of pieces and parts here and i like to lay all these out kind of the way that they're they're going to need to go back on so you got a spring and then there's a, a nut that's threaded on here and it's very important that it goes back on the right way there's a a, a crevice right here that that spring rests down into and you just need to make sure that it's facing upright towards the spring not that side up towards the spring okay and then we've got a few other washers here there's a spacer washer and there's a couple of concave washers here okay and takes care of that part now we've got four screws in these positions here that all need to come out One thing that Shimano is really, really good at is their drag systems, and you're going to see in this reel, this has got a great, great drag stack, nice big washers in here. I mean, you can just look at the size of that housing right there. The washers on this thing are huge, uh, and it just makes for a really smooth operation when you're, you're fighting a big fish. Yeah, this reel cleaned up real nicely. It wasn't dirty or anything really to begin with. It was in great shape right out the gate. Um, but my buddy Dan brought it to me and said it had never been serviced before. And he just wanted to get ready for, for the next time. He wants to go on out and do some rock cod fishing. So we're going to put those screws off to the side. They're going to put those in the tray. Now, at this point, what you have to do is you kind of have to do a little, little prying action here almost. But there's this plastic housing right here, and you kind of have to push it in a little bit like this. You have to get like a little bend going in that almost. You just want to be careful, and then... This piece will snap out, okay? So uh, normally, uh, you know, when you're taking this off, you know, you want to clean off any debris, any dirt, sand, uh, things that are all, you know, gummed up in here. You know, this is nice and clean, you know, so we don't need to go through all the cleaning. Um, you know, but I, I use the help of uh, some penetrating fluid, sometimes some degreaser, and just, you know, spray some of that in there, clean it up really good with toothbrushes and Q-tips, things like that. And I've got other videos uh, that talk more about, you know, cleaning, you know, the insides of reels. You can check that out on the YouTube channel. But, you know, it's, it's basically in all of my videos, just kind of going through those basic steps, more or less. So we've got some, some springs here. And then we've got, you know, a series of parts uh, here that are, you know, relatively easy to get to. You know, this is a nice design, you know, so we've got our eccentric jack. And then we've got our, our pinion gear and yoke right here. And then, of course, we've got our, our main drag stack here. 
this washer underneath here, spacer washer. And I'm going to put these pieces off to the side here temporarily. Okay, and then we got that, that guy underneath. A series of parts here. Okay, and then there's your, your pinion gear and pinion yoke. Okay, I'm just going to keep all those pieces in that tray and kind of keep these pieces off to the side here. Okay, um, and you can leave all those pieces on if you want to and just dismount this entire section of the reel via these four screw positions here. Um, you can do either or. I just happen to take all that out just so that it doesn't uh, wobble off on me or anything while I'm, I'm trying to do this here. And these screws are just a little smaller than on the heads than, than those last sets of screws that I just took out. So kind of switch over to a smaller screwdriver in that case. But I like the design of this reel, actually. It's, it's a pretty simple reel to work on once you, you know how to work on it. I've worked on a number of different Shimano's and some I've, I've had some challenges with just because there's so many different parts. And that's probably one of the most important things when you're doing reel repair. Any reel repair is, you know, you want to you wanna take the time to, you know, inspect things as you're disassembling them. Uh, you know, take pictures along the way. I recommend downloading schematics. You know, you can pretty much get schematics for any reel, almost, any reel out there, I'd say, these days. Shimano is really good about having all their um, schematics available for the most part, I'd say. Okay, so got this uh, side of the reel completely out. There's nothing that we really need to do here except just some basic cleaning. Uh, you know, again, uh, penetrating fluid toothbrush, lots of cleaning going on in here, cleaning out d dirt or debris, things of that sort. All good to go there. All right, and then we've got our spool. Okay, nice clean spool. All right, take that off. And um, <clears throat> and then, you know, we're, we're basically, you know, uh, all the way into the other side of the reel here and there's not too many things that need to be serviced here outside of you know just doing some basic cleaning and then we've got a bearing down there as well as a bearing on this side here okay and what we're going to do is i'm going to take out this bearing and demonstrate how you would service this bearing and there's a snap ring here this this hexagon style snap ring that needs to come out when you do this and it can be a little tricky at times but it's manageable with the right size screwdriver so you got to get that little hexagon snap out okay take that out of the equation and then you should, in theory, be able to gently kind of pry out your bearing right here. It's getting stuck in there, okay? But you want to clean up this housing really, really nice, okay? Make the use of Q-tips. Q-tips are a very handy tool to clean out uh, on the inside there, okay? And get any old grease, dirt, debris, all that kind of stuff. Get that out of there. Now... We have a ball bearing here. Now, I've got a separate video on this topic, uh, and you can watch that on the YouTube channel about how to service your ball bearings, okay? And it's really hard to do on camera, and I'll try to demonstrate it here the best that I can. But you want to take two small screwdrivers such as these, and there's a small snap ring on the surface of this ball bearing. Now note, not all ball bearings are serviceable. This one happens to be a serviceable one, okay? But you need to pry this ring around so that it kind of snaps out like so. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. You can see how small that snap ring is right there. Okay, it's very, very small, very thin, almost kind of delicate, okay? 
And then if that wasn't tricky enough, there is a plate that rests on the top here, which is equally difficult to take out. And sometimes I find myself using the help of these tiny little screwdriver bits, such as this one. You can see it's very, very small, thin screwdriver bit for, you know, like a micro uh, screwdriver kit kind of thing. Okay, but if you take that plate off, that top plate, you can actually get to your ball bearings, okay? Now, once again, not all bearings are serviceable. The ones on this reel happen to be serviceable. Some are sealed, okay? And I talk more about that in that other video that you can check out on the YouTube channel about how to service your ball bearings, okay? But all you really need to do here is take that apart. It works the same for the bearing on the opposite side, okay? Same deal, okay? But you want to take some penetrating fluid and clean that out really well. Take a, a toothbrush, and scrub it real gently with that penetrating oil in there, okay? And then when you're ready to uh, reassemble, uh, you'll reassemble it, uh, uh, you know, with um, uh, some some real oil in there, and then put these pieces and parts back on there, and you're good to go. And the only other thing in the disassembly uh, portion of this, basically, is spreading out your drag stack here and cleaning off all these washers, okay? And just remember that, you know, they need to go back exactly the way that they were, and so the orientation is key. Look at the size of these washers, though. These washers are huge, huge washers, okay? And that's pretty cool, okay? And then you want to take a toothbrush to your main gear and clean up those teeth really well. Clean up all these pieces and parts here with penetrating oil, WD-40, liquid wrench, CRC power lube, whatever you have is all good. Clean everything up completely, okay? As good as you can. Now, one thing to note, there is a third bearing in this reel, and it's attached to the spool, okay? And what I recommend uh, you do in this situation with this bearing is clean it off the best you can, and then uh, hit it with a little bit of uh, penetrating oil, and then you can put some, some Real X or some uh, Pen Precision Oil. Uh, fishing reel oil is the key thing. Don't just use any oil. Make sure it's made for fishing reels. And just put a little bit of that on there, okay, and call it a day uh, because uh, trying to get that bearing out can be a real challenge and you might end up damaging uh, the shaft and you don't want to do that. It's not worth it, okay? But if you keep your bearings clean and you do regular maintenance on your reel, there should be no need to replace, you know, uh, these bearings really uh, for many years to come, okay? So it's just one thing to point out, okay, but we're going to clean off all these pieces and parts really well. We're going to get ready for reassembly, and uh, we'll, we'll do that in the separate uh, uh, walkthrough video of, of doing the reassembly on this reel. So thanks again for watching. This is Tony with Back on the Bench. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please do subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button, and we'll see you next time.